Good day, everyone. Welcome to Teaching Mathematics in the Intermediate Grades. I am your instructor, Julio Mar Reyes. Before we proceed to our first topic, let's have a short quiz or a review. Okay? We have here the first question. Find the value of A in the diagram below. Here the first diagram. We have that. Try to analyze and find the value of A. That's right. Since the given angle is right angle, therefore the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degrees. We have that. A plus the given 30 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, A is equal to 90 degrees minus 30, and that is the value of our A, which is 60 degrees. Next, letter B. What is the value of our A? That's right. The value of A is? 130 because this given angle is or the two given angles are supplementary angles which means if you are going to add the two angles the result or the sum it should be 180 degrees so we have that a plus 50 we have 180 and our a now is 180 degree minus 50 and our A is equal to 130 degrees. Next, we have letter C. What is your answer? Correct. Okay. In the given for, for letter C, the sum of the two angles given is 360y because it is one revolution. One revolution is equal to 360. And if we are going to add the two angles, the result should be 360. Therefore, A plus 220 degrees is equal to 360. And our A now is 360 minus 220 degrees. And the value of our A or the measurement of the angle A is equal to 140 degrees. Okay. Next. Name these angles as acute, obtuse, right, straight, reflex, or revolution. Okay, all you have to do is to choose from the given above whether it is acute, obtuse, right, straight, reflex, or revolution. We have the first given degree, 360. That is correct. Revolution. Next. Straight, that's right. Another, 149 degrees. Correct. Obtuse, angle. Next, 36 degrees. You're correct. Acute, angle. Next, 312 degrees. That's right. Reflex. And last one we have, 90 degree, and that is obvious, right angle. Okay? Another, name the special quadrilaterals, okay? If you can still remember different or the special quadrilaterals in the lower years. Okay, we have square, that's right. Another, yes, rhombus. What else? Parallelogram. Another. Rectangle. And we have also trapezoid. So we have these five special quadrilaterals. Okay? Next, we have 
Number four, find the value of x of the shapes below using the given angle sum. Okay? Try to analyze the given shapes below. We have letter A. Find the value of x given the angle sum which is 180 degrees. Okay, you got the correct answer. That is 40 degrees. Why? The total measurement of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, so you have that. 120 plus 20 plus x, it should be equivalent to 180 degrees. Therefore, our x is equal to 180 minus 120 minus 20 minus 20 degrees. Therefore, our x measures 40 degrees. Next, letter B. The angle sum here is 360. As you can see, the two given angle here is right angle. Therefore, it measures 90 degrees. So what is your answer now? The value of our x now is, okay, you got the correct answer, 110 degrees. So we have this solution. Okay? I hope that uh, you learned something and na-refresh ang inyong mga mind, no? Okay. Thank you so much. So next, let's have our first topic. We have chapter one, geometric figures, the definitions, properties, and the relationships. Let's define what is geometry. So geometry is a branch of mathematics that focuses on the measurement and the relationship of lines, angles, surfaces, solids, and points. So there are terms that we need to know about the geometry. We have first term, angle. Two lines that, that meet to make a corner, okay? So we have this one. This is just a review if ever, no one nakalimut na, all right. Another, congruent. When we say congruent, it is identical in size and shape. Therefore, pari hagyud sila, okay? Example to that, we have this one. Angle G and angle S is congruent. Why? They have the same measure, which is 42 degrees. Okay? Next, dimensions. From the word dimensions or size, it is the term that being used to describe the dimension of an object or a given set. Another, edge. The meeting of two faces on a three-dimensional shape. I will give an illustration after the next term. We have face, surface planes of three-dimensional shapes. So sorry, here it is. Now, so this are or this is called the face of a cube. No, isaka side or isaka face sa. Cube. What about edge, sir? Edge is this one. Line that meet the two faces on the two-dimensional shape. Okay. So question, how many faces are there in a cube? That's right. There are six faces. What about edges? Edge, how many edge are there in a cube? Twelve, that is correct. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, 
And at the bottom, one, two, three, four. At the side, one, two, three, four. So there are 12 edges on a cube. Okay, next term, we have equilateral. This means that the sides that are in the same length. For example, we have this one. The red mark there indicates that the sides are equal. Therefore, this triangle is said to be equilateral triangle. Okay? And to those nga nakalimut na, there are kinds of triangle. We have equilateral, equilateral, escaline, and right triangle. Okay. Next term, we have parallel. Two lines in two-dimensional space that do not meet. For example, the two opposite sides of a square. Okay. Have you figured out what a square is? Yes, that's right. No. Parallel lines that do not meet. Bisan unsaon pa di gina magtagbo. Okay. And also we have parallelogram has two sets of parallel lines. No? Okay. Parallelogram is a kind of quadrilaterals. Okay. This is the best example of a parallel lines. Lines that do not meet or do not intersect. Bisan pag extend na nimo infinitely. Dili na sila mag tagbo. Next, plane a flat two-dimensional surface upon which two-dimensional objects. Example of plane, we have circle, square, rectangle, um, parallelogram, uh, oval, and so on and so forth. So that is an example of plane. Next, point. When we say point at specific position on a line, on a plane, or in a space. So I have here a Cartesian plane. We have that. If we are going to locate the point 2 and 3, so we have this one. If we are go Again, if we are going to locate the ordered pair 2, 3, so we have this given point. So that is point. A specific position. Okay, next. Side line segments in geometric figures that compose the exterior of the object. No, so it is um, understood now what is side. We have here vertex. Vertex if vertex if it's only one vertices if daghana sila, and it is also known as corner or corners. The point at which two sides of two dimensional figure or two edges of a three-dimensional figure meet. So we have here an example of vertex. Okay, we have vertex A and we have that vertex. So a point where the two lines intersect that is on a two-dimensional figure that is called vertex. Next, there are attributes of two dimensional shapes. The first we have that rectangle it has it is two dimensional. It has four sides, four corners, one, two, three, four, close shape of course. Made up of straight lines and opposite sides are the same size. S this is this side is equivalent or equal to this side and this side is equal to the measurement of this side. Next, square. Two-dimensional, of course. So there are four sides and still four corners. Close shape and is made up of straight lines. And unlike with the rectangle, square has equal sides. Next, we have triangle. Three sides, three corners, close shape. And made up of straight line. This is just a review of what is two-dimensional shapes. Next, hexagon. It has six sides, six corners, closed shape, and made up of straight lines. And last one, we have 
circle. Still, it is a two-dimensional object. No sides, no corners, closed shape, and it has a curved line. And we have here the attributes of a three-dimensional shapes. First, we have cube, slides, stocks, six flat surfaces, eight corners, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12 edges. I have already uh, mentioned this earlier, right? Okay, so flat surfaces are square. So that is a cube. Next, cone. Slides, rolls, one flat surface, this one in the bottom, and one corner which is in the upper on the cone, and zero edges. Flat surface is a circle, yes, and it has a curved surface. Another cylinder. The best example to a cylinder is a tin can. Okay, we have two flat surface. The flat surface are circles. We have the first, the bottom, and in the upper of a cylinder. It has a curved surface and zero corner, and it has zero edges. And last, we have a sphere, zero flat surface, zero corners, zero edges, and it has a curved surface. Those are the kinds of three-dimensional and two-dimensional objects that we'll be using for our next topic. Thank you so much for listening. I hope na refresh in your mind about geometry, the two-dimensional, the three-dimensional, and the geometric terms that will be used for our next topic. Thank you so much and God bless.